Thursday night in Cross McGlen. And as usual, Francie Bellew is doing his talking on the field. The only time I've ever heard him talk was during a very short Man of the Match interview for RTE after last year's Ulster final. In fact, I'm not even sure I'd recognise his voice if I heard it. Cross McGlen manager Donald Murta agrees. The word quiet man describes Francie down to a T. It used to say I was the quiet man and so Francie's even quieter than I am. He's always a pleasure to work with, but the only thing you have to be watch out for that he be in and out of the dressing room that pretty quick after training. That one night there we were we were to meet up the next night and Francie didn't even know about it because he went out of the dressing room that pretty quick. And Francie was equally mobile when training finished the night I was there. So while I waited for my chance, I chatted with some cross players who know him best, like Tony McEntee and Oshin McConville. He's a very unassuming fella. He's a very quiet fella. He can be very witty as well, though, I have to say that. Yeah, he's just an unbelievable character. He's, uh, he doesn't do much talking, but he does. He seems to do all his talking on the field, if you know what I mean. He does His actions speak louder than his words. Like, you know, so uh, He doesn't really have that much to say for himself, but if ever he does, well, then you sit up and take notice, you know, because uh, really he's, a, he's an inspiration to us all. You know. Francie means the world lost as a player, like, you know, I mean, and as a teammate. And I think from the fans' reaction, I think on Sunday's match, um, Francie wasn't expected to be playing, and suddenly, when the team was being announced, he was named full-back, and it was the only cheer, it was the only cheer of the whole two teams that was named, you know. So to the fans and to the people of the town, Francie means the world lost, you know, because cause what Francie is, is an icon to, to, to our players, but also to the junior and the youth of the, of the, of the area. Again, plays it in towards the full-forward, David O'Connor. The ball knocked away from him, though, by Francie Bellew. Bellew picks up the ball. Clearly, Francie is well-loved in Armagh. But what about outside the county? You'd think that Armagh's biggest rivals wouldn't have too many kind words for Francie. But Tyrone's Philip Jordan might surprise you. He spent some time with him on the All-Stars trip to Hong Kong a few years ago. I think everybody knows what Francie's like. He's just a very tough defender. Probably gets a lot of stick because maybe he doesn't have the footballing skills as some people think. But I suppose his art of defending is a skill as well. And Francie thinks perfect of that. And I think everybody knows when to play against him. They're definitely not going to give him a hand easy. Oh, he's quiet enough, but I suppose he has his moments as well, especially when he was out the dance floor a few times as well, but I suppose we'll say nothing too much about that. Francie, a dancer? If only we'd had a camera in Hong Kong. Now, Francie has been accused of being a dirty player, but did you know this? He has never been sent off for his club, and on only two occasions has he seen Red playing for Armagh. One of those was later rescinded, by the way. This hard man image is something which bugs Armagh manager Joe Kiernan. I've been looking after Francie from a, from a manager's point of view from Francie was about 17 or 18 from under 21 uh, through the senior level and then with county seniors Francie's one of those model footballers that you know uh, you never have a problem with he goes out and trains there's never no complaints uh, even when he's injured he probably doesn't tell you how serious the injury is all he wants to do is play he trains hard all the time uh, but over the last few years I've been worried uh, for Francie because of uh, the reputation he's supposed to have got and the way the media have treated him, which has been totally unfair, and this has rubbed off on a lot of the referees, that Francie is actually booked now, nearly before he leaves the dressing room, uh, and that has been shown up to be true on a number of occasions over this last couple of years. But the hard man image doesn't seem to bother Francie as much. It took ten minutes to persuade him, I had to show him the questions beforehand, but once I got him talking about Armagh, the answers started to come. It was always my dream, yeah, when it go to Crow Park and see Narma playing against the Kerrys and that I was sitting watching and just thinking I'd love to be out there. So yeah, that was my dream. And growing up then, did you have a favourite player? Um I loads of favourite players, yeah, probably McLean's Mead, so good full back man. Yeah. <laughs> Who would you say has been the biggest influence then on your career? Uh that had to be probably Joe Kernan who were taking me under his wing and for our man. Do you think you'd be playing for Armagh had he not become manager? Um, probably not. Probably never would have got or never would have went or had, no. Who's been your toughest opponent then? Um, they're all tough, so they are. They're all really tough. Um, Colm Cooper, Ray Crosgrove, Mike Frank Russell, they're all, they're all tough. And just going back then to All Ireland in 2002, running out onto the Crow Park pitch, what was the atmosphere like? Yeah, it, was, it was unbelievable, it was just brilliant. It was just great buzz and if you couldn't play football there, you just 
quid. On a match day then, when the announcer announces number three, Francie Bellew, and a big cheer goes up from the Armagh crowd, are you aware of that whenever you're on the field? I am aware of it because Benny Tierney makes it. <laughs> it comes up to my face and tells me about it. So, yes, pretty much. But it's good. It's good. It's good fun. And outside of football, then, do you have any other hobbies? Um, no other hobbies. Football, football, football. <laughs> I guess that's just part of Cross in life. You know, everything seems to revolve around football. That's true. It's just any other buys, no hobbies, just football, football. I want to know, have you seen the Francie Value t-shirts? I haven't, but I want to know who's making money out of them. <laughs> <laughs> or is anybody. Maybe you could send up a franchise yourself. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> and the final question I have to ask you, have you ever logged on to the Francie Value website? I have been made to go on and look at it but it's it's a bit of crack and it's good fun so that's good and that was it i had gone where very few other reporters had gone before i'm not sure how much we have learned about francie but one thing is certain our mom people think the world of him respect him for what he is a genuine man that gives a hundred percent every day he goes out and he loves his football uh, and please don't spoil it <laughs>